everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a general love reading for the sign of Pisces, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for all of you. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. Another thing, Pisces, is we also have gems, crystals, and rough stones. What I'm currently holding is calcites. If you're interested in things like this, that will also be in the description down below. So on the bottom of the deck, for the overall energy for this whole love situation here, Pisces, we have the Justice card. Now, the Justice card can be Libra energy, but with the Justice card being there, that talks about balance, okay? That talks about karma as well. So things are being balanced in this connection here. Have a look at the past between you and them. We have Judgment. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Okay, so... Someone was wishing for someone to return, but it's like the other person was still wanting to be single, or still wanting to kind of be independent from this connection. Nine of Pentacles. Maybe you were wishing for them to return, but they were still kind of being single, or still kind of like, in a way, kind of pushing you away. Have a look how they currently feel towards you. We have the Magician. The star, which is Aquarius energy. The fool, which can be seen as Aries. Okay, so Pisces, this person does want to jump into a relationship with you. They do want to manifest you. They do have these high hopes to be with you. So they are heavily interested here. Have a look how you feel towards them. We have the Five of Swords. Page of Wands, Ten of Cups, looks like you want to be with this person as well, but maybe you're hurt by some things, maybe you're kind of hurt by um, them being distant towards you at times. Have a look at their intentions towards you, we have the Six of Swords, King of Swords, which is Air Energy. Knight of Swords, so yeah, I do see them, like, wanting to speak to you, or speaking to you, but at the same time still kind of being distant. But their feelings is they do want you. So you're going to be kind of receiving mixed uh, signals from this person. Have a look at your intentions towards them. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the unknown. Five of Cups. Looks like you're really missing this person here, Pisces, and it's like you want things to start, or you want a new start with them. Now, have a look at the outcome between you and them. We have the Queen of Wands, which is fire energy. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. With the King of Cups, which is water energy. Alright. So you may notice this person in the future be more expressive towards you, be more present, be more invested into this relationship or this connection with you. So actually in your outcome is them being more, more emotionally expressive, more emotionally open towards you. Now have a look at messages for you. We have number nine with change. So yeah, things are going to change here in this connection. Forgiving and learning. Maybe getting over past issues that you may have had with them. You have children. So something about children here, whether you have a child, they have a child, or if your children are involved in some way. Romantic feelings. Feelings are there. The person does have heavy feelings for you, Pisces. We have compromise. Chaser. Offer. Divine timing. So Pisces, don't chase after this person. Let them come after you, because you are actually going to receive an offer from them at the right time. Things are going to change, alright? So, Pisces, that is all I have for you. Let me know if it resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.